Chile is on track to reduce carbon emissions while still getting people where they need to go. CCTV's Jim Spellman reports on the next generation of metro train that gets a little help from Mother Nature. Santiago, Chile's metro system will soon be the world's first public transportation system, mostly powered by solar and wind. The metro is going to incorporate renewable, non-conventional energies, and that speaks to a service that will always be avant-garde and that will make us proud through its capacity to be a global pioneer to offer the highest quality of public transport in our country. Later this year, a U.S.-based company will begin construction on a solar power plant dedicated to the metro system. A nearby wind farm will also contribute power to the system. It isn't only symbolic. This is going to be no less than 60 percent of its electric supply, and it will be made of 42 percent solar energy and 18 percent wind power. Who would have imagined, a few years ago, a subway propelled by the wind and the sun? Other high-profile renewable energy projects are underway around the world. A solar-powered plane is making its way across North America on an around-the-world flight. In the U.S. state of Florida, construction has begun on a new town that aims to run entirely on solar power. And in Morocco, the first phase of what will be the world's largest solar power plant is now operational. When all phases are complete, it will be capable of powering about a million homes. No one project is really, really special, but more than anything else, the fact that it brought concentrated solar power to an affordable level in one project. Commitments made at last year's Paris Climate Conference are expected to lead to more projects like the power plant in Morocco and the metro system in Chile as countries around the world strive to reduce their carbon emissions. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.